Hey YouTube, this is How To King here, and I'm showing you um, some pictures and screenshots from the um, Apple iPod Touch 4GS, and not, and it's not Apple iPod 4S. It's actually Apple G for Generation S. But um, this it's similar to um, the uh, iPhone 4S, but they both introducing Siri. But this one is iSiri. For the iPod Touch, Siri is a little more updated because it's like, like you would say, text on the iPhone, the new iPhone coming out, would be like a text, a wife saying, be there soon. This one, their voice, this, um, this has a better voice detection. And before, you would have to slide to unlock. Now you get to say unlock. Not say slide to unlock, but you just have to say unlock and it will unlock. So I can just say unlock without sliding or anything. It will unlock the screen and go into the passcode. And then you can put your passcode in. Or usually, I don't know if this is on the iPhone 4, but um, because all the iPhone 4s I saw, they, had, uh, they didn't have a passcode. So usually where the passcode is, there's a blank one on the iPod, but on the iPhone it's had emergency call. On the iPod Touch, it's blank. Now that would be voice recognition. Voice recognition. So instead of putting your passcode in, you could just press the blank one. Now it's something there, voice recognition. I Siri, voice recognition. Press it. You can say your passcode. Even if someone hears it. They will still not get it in because it's voice recognized. It's voice recognition. So that's what I like about it. And also, they have better lock screens now. It's numbers. Um, it's numbers. Well, that was there. Letters was always there. Numbers and letters combined was always there. But they got two more now. Um, it's for face. Uh, recognize your face. That's one. Your voice. That's two. The third one. If you see at this top corner, or well not corner, but the top middle at the time, it's a little lock. You will hold it, drag it down, and then go to the arrow and then slide with the arrow. Say if you just slide, it will be like device not unlocked. We have to bring this down all the way with it and slide. So that's a better lock screen. No one will find that. Out. No one will even. No one will even um get to put your passcode in so they could disable your iPod. And now this is smarter. I'm sorry guys, but it's only once now. Um say if your device gets stolen and someone doesn't know the passcode, they easily could just restore it and it's theirs now. But now they can only rest a person can only restore once in the factory settings after that no more so if something happens to your device I'm sorry oh, oh, oh you would have to um go to you would have to make a mobile me account for you to um get more than one more than one uh restore so if it start going slow messing up you're trying to downgrade you have to restore and you're already restored yeah, uh, and say you're restoring, try like you rest you can't restore no longer. Sorry, you would have to make a mobile. If you, I advise you to ha already have a mobile me, and then from there you can just keep on doing it. So that's where they get smarter with the devices. Um, and that's pretty much it for this device. Um, but this oh I'm not done yet. You can like. If you like, if you have a text now app, um, our series with the text now app, so you can still kind of say, uh, text someone. It's still kind of like that. So with text now, you can be like, I don't know if it works for text now, but I'm guessing. I know it works for Facebook. If someone get a notification, they tell you. And um, if you're in like, this is good. If you're a distance and you know you got a notification but you can't read it right now, you can say read notification. And even if you're even though you're a distance, it will still pick up your voice because it's smart. 
and it will pick up your voice and then it will read the notification. Um, for this device, that's pretty much it. Bye, YouTube. I recommend you getting this October 14th, 2011, and bye.